Hey everyone, Dan here. Before we get into it, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. And keep in mind that these are my own thoughts, opinions, and ideas. These are not meant to be, nor should you take them as investment or trading advice in any way, shape, or form. Do your own due diligence. Put in the work for yourself and make your decisions based on that. Enjoy. All right, folks, here we are on Tuesday, January 9th. We're going to take a look at XPEV today. So XPEV was trying to escape. We did a video on it, I believe, around here when it looked like it might be able to break through this downtrend resistance and the subsequent downtrend resistance that you see here as well. Um, but obviously it failed pretty significantly and is now well back underneath that downtrend resistance. And not only that, but you see this grayed out section here, or it's just two gray lines, but this one here at 1249 and then to 1199, that is a gap from back here. You see this gap here um, that it's partially filled now, right? Just with this recent price action. So you see it there, came in and it filled it down to 1229. So whether it's gonna come down the additional 30 cents or so and do a complete fill is the question. And if it does, um, because that's basically a $12 psychological level, is it going to be able to fill it and find immediate support and, and not drop any further? Or is the momentum created from filling that to the downside going to uh, require it to come down and maybe press against that 11.55? We'll see. Right now, it's it's making its way back out of the gap again. So, so who knows? Maybe it won't feel the need in this swing at least to drop that additional 30 cents, but time will obviously tell. Now, you know, it's also quite far away from this downtrend resistance at the moment, so it even has quite a bit of space that it could operate in here, um, like being just above the gap, but still be underneath this downtrend resistance. You know, that could persist for several trading days um, in, in the days ahead. So we'll see what that brings. But uh, yeah, it's basically a few different levels of downtrend resistance. I don't want to put it in because it's going to make the, the chart super cluttered. This is the one that I'm most interested in at the moment because it tried to make a break from it here. And, you know, that was looking like a pretty promising move because that swing was higher than this swing and this swing. Um, but it just couldn't overcome this swing high here that like that approach to 20 and um you know failed pretty hard and then was treating it as downtrend support as i jokingly say sometimes and then slipped back underneath and then this was the most recent uh area we thought maybe it would break out so it really seems like the battle you know is here um yeah, although there is, like I said, this sort of steeper downtrend resistance. If you connect these candles here, you can see it sort of in your mind's eye, if you will. So flipping over here to the think or swim side of things, um, no trigger fire happening on the TTM squeeze indicator, but we are getting like real herky-jerky action in both of these most recent swings. So this bullish push up had several hiccup candles before it finally died off. And then here now, stretching from the baseline, this bearish momentum picking up and then looking like it was going to die down. And then it sort of tapered flat and um, now seems to be picking up again. That said, the, the recent action pushed the price action out the bottom of the channel. What do we always look for when a price uh, or when candles leave either the upper or the lower bound of the channel, we look for it to come in and retest the channel and eventually retest the mid range of the channel. So you can see here it was out of the channel, came in, tested the channel, right? That's always the first question. What's it going to do? Um, and then on the second push, it got itself into the channel quite powerfully, you know, quite significantly into the channel. It wasn't just sort of hanging on down here and was able to actually push to the mid range. So that's ultimately what we look for here. It sort of, you know, tried to sustain some momentum between the upper bound and the mid range, but ultimately lost it. And then this is a pretty steep and swift sell off. And so now the question is, it's outside of the channel, not quite as far as it was out here, because here you see this candle doesn't even touch the bound. This candle appears to me that it does just about touch the bound. So um, is it going to be able to sort of you know, even sidestep its way back into the channel? Um, or is it going to shrug off and basically utilize the, the uh, lower bound of this channel as resistance? You know, the, the coming days ahead will sort of clarify that for us. But ultimately, I'm going to be looking for gets into the channel, what's it going to do? Um, 
How long does it take it to test the mid-range of the channel, which at this point is quite far away. It's in the 14s. You know, that said, obviously this channel is dynamic, and so it shifts with uh, every candle that gets put in. So it's dragging it down as it's, you know, all the way down here. So it's moving the channel, not just the, the uh, candle bodies. So that's sort of my interest at the moment. Uh, can it get back into this channel and what does it do? And then here, I'm actually more interested on sort of what I see on the Weeble chart for the moment, at least, uh, being what does it do with this gap? Is it going to come down and fill it further, drop it below or just about to 12? Is it going to treat this upper bound of the uh, gap as support? And, you know, can it get any motion through this downtrend resistance or not. All right, folks, I hope that your trading week is off to a good start. And as always, I appreciate you watching, and I will see you in the next video.